next piece that I need to make is the screw and it's a 5 16 24 left hand thread and on investigating it this collar around it is actually a separate piece that's threaded on there so I'm starting out with a piece of 5 16 drill rod I'm going to face it uh, center drill it so that I can hold it in place for the uh, for threading and then once the threading is done I'll face off the end to get rid of the center drilled hole because I made the overall quill an extra half inch longer I've got to make the uh, the threaded portion a half inch longer also so let's get started Check it with the thread gauge, make sure I got it set right. Okay, that's it. I zeroed out my cross slide.
almost there. We'll take another cut and a spring cut. I think that'll just about do it. Four seven five. Now I've got to go to four thirty seven. Okay, that's four fifty. Four fifty to four thirty seven. So I got six thousands to go.
I'm going to put a chamfer on the outside. collar is just over about a quarter of an inch long so I've set up my parting blade and I'm going to part it off Before I take it completely off, I just break the edge on the I threaded the collar on, cleaned the uh, the threads, and then put some red Loctite on it, and then jammed it up into the non-threaded portion. So once that Loctite sets, it's not going anywhere. Now I can use that for my reference to finish off, uh, cut this to final length, and then to cut the. Uh, this end off and put a little bit of a radius on the end of it. So I'm going to let the Loctite set up and I'll stop back later. Now all that's left to do is round off the end. Now all I need to do is drill a hole through there and I can pack it up. It's ready to ship back. Well that wraps up the quill build for the tail stock of the 109 Dunlop Craftsman lathe. Here is the quill. I made it a half inch longer than the original uh, to give them a little bit more stick out on the, uh, the center because it seemed to be a little bit too short and here is the left hand thread nice new threads and they thread together just great I'm very pleased with the way it turned out I've done a lot of threading but I haven't done a whole lot of left hand threading not that it makes that much difference you just have to do everything backwards that's all so that wraps it up I'm gonna pack it up and ship it back to Scott and Tira and hope they get a lot of good use out of it. For all my new subscribers, thank you. For all my existing subscribers, thank you. Keep giving me those thumbs up and commenting, and I'll respond back to you on your comments. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.